Welcome dear students. We are doing food and health chapter number three. Now until now we have learned about food that we eat, uh, the components, different components of food and the special substances called nutrients and their different types. We learned the different types of food groups according to their functions such as energy giving food, bodybuilding food and protective food and we also learned different types of nutrients based on the amount they are required in our body. They are macronutrients and micronutrients. In our last class we learned about balanced diet and junk food. We came to know uh, about the definition of balanced diet and what are the different composition of nutrients to make a balanced diet according to different ages, health and according to job profile. We learned eating junk food is not a good habit. Eating junk food, junk food might give us pleasure for a while but if we make a regular habit of eating junk food then that might destroy our life causing different types of diseases in our body. Therefore we need to now know some of the healthy eating habits that we should practice in our everyday life in order to be healthy. So in our today's class we are going to learn about some tips for healthy eating and how can we make our diet healthier. So let us start our today's class. Tips for healthy eating. So I have tried to explain you by some drawings with the help of some drawings. So let us go to the first point. Now every day we have to start with a healthy breakfast breakfast that contains balanced diet that contains all the carbohydrates proteins fats vitamins minerals along with water and rugged in the right proportion so we must practice starting our day with a healthy breakfast or a balanced diet and the this if we focus on this composition of our nutrients in our everyday breakfast then we can achieve the goal of living a healthy life okay we also need to add lots of vegetables and fruits in our diet the more colorful our diet the more healthier we will be because the colorful vegetables and fruits gives us lots of vitamins and minerals which are very very essential for the proper growth of our body okay it makes us wise it makes us it, it increases our thinking ability it increases our of working ability of our brain it also increases the muscle strength okay the function of our heart so overall our body functions properly if we include lots of green and colorful vegetables in our diet now we move on to another important tips for a healthy eating or healthy lifestyle and that is wash our hands before and after you eat or after your meals. So, so we always have to wash our hands before or after our meals. Why? Because our hands we use our hands to touch all different things because we use hands for sense purpose to feel things to know what we are dealing with therefore our hands are the most prone areas of being getting contaminated and especially in this pandemic time you all you, you all must have heard that we have to wash our hand regularly with soap okay at least for 20 seconds now if you wash our hands then those germs will die 
our hands will be free from germs and therefore with that clean hand we can uh, eat our meals okay so this will lead to a healthy lifestyle in our life another tip is we have to eat slowly and chew our food properly if we eat our food very fast okay if we hurry all the time then the food particles the food which we eat will not be broken down properly so the solid food larger particles will go inside our stomach and into our intestine and it will take again longer time to uh, digest those larger particles of our food therefore our digestion process will be slow and slower the digestion process the unhealthier our body will be therefore to increase to increase our digestion process inside our digestive system we have to eat slowly and chew our food properly it is said that we have to at least chew 40 times per bite okay boys so that means we have to eat slowly we should not hurry while eating okay so the longer we chew our food the healthier will be our digestion the healthier our digestion process the healthier our body will be am i clear another important tip is we should not over eat i know sometimes it becomes very difficult for us to stop ourselves from eating delicious food but we should not overeat because if we overeat then again the digestion process will be longer okay and we end up eating lots of fats lots of salts lots of uh, sugars which might increase our weight cause obesity and later on that obesity might lead to various kinds of diseases which i have already explained in our earlier class so we should not over it we we must eat whatever our body requires not more or less than what is required by our body the fifth tip tip would be we should avoid eating junk foods now we have already discussed in our previous class that junk food tests are very good in test but they lack nutrients they are imbalanced food therefore we should not practice eating junk food regularly sometimes it is perfect but if we make a regular habit habit of eating uh, junk food regularly then we will again end up like this with big belly chubby cheeks okay obesity that is called obesity and that will again lead to various kinds of diseases in the future sixth tip would be we should drink plenty of water and how much water we have to drink that depends upon our body weight okay uh, everyone must not drink same quantity of water because our body weight are not same okay Th those who are young like you all your body weight might be something around 25 27 30 30 kilograms now according to your body weight you have to drink at least four glasses of water every day which is almost equal to one liter if your body weight is 36 and above then you must drink at least five glasses of water which is little more than one liter a day so depending upon body weight the amount of water that we must drink depends and the last tip would be we must or we should exercise regularly now exercise can be of any form you can play outdoor games such as football cricket badminton table tennis uh, even your local games such as lakku hide and seek so these were our local games which you used to play i hope you also play all these games nowadays also you can also practice yoga or even walk running and jumping so these type of exercise you have to practice regularly 
and the last but not the least you have to eat your food at a regular interval of time it should not be a disturbed timing of having food for example you should not skip your breakfast and straight away go for lunch and dinner or you should not skip your dinner and eat only breakfast and lunch that will disturb the balance in your body therefore we should eat food at a regular interval of time in order to make our digestive system healthy and as a result to make our body healthier so these are some of the tips to lead a healthy eating habit and to le to live a healthy lifestyle okay boys now to make your diet healthier i have i have already told you we must add we must try to make our diet a balanced diet we must include lots of green leafy vegetables colorful vegetables uh, we should avoid eating lots of salts and fat okay uh, we can include lots of proteins and especially uh, students uh, or children of your age must drink lot of milk eat uh, milk products like curd cheese okay and we should avoid eating inorganic foods inorganic foods means those foods which contains lots of chemicals added to in it preservatives okay packaged food they all contains chemicals and instead of eating chemically added food chemical added food we have to practice eating organic food and i know you all have practiced this organic garden okay or organic gardening so always practice eating organic food also because those organic foods does not contain any additional chemicals such as preservatives fertilizers chemical fertilizers etc hence our body will be free from all these chemicals and it will grow to become healthy so this much for today boys i hope you have enjoyed this session and learned many things uh, about how to keep our eating healthy and lead our life healthier and to make our diet healthy so this much for today stay safe and take care do all things well